Hi YouTube, greetings and salutations. Happy Sunday. It's been a long, long while now, but I thought I'd record several videos about my HP Palm Top computers, as it was the HP Palm Top videos that really got my channel on the YouTube map, so to speak. In tonight's video and the next several videos, I'm going to go through different programmable calculator applications that are built into the HP Palm Tops. I'm going to talk about a couple on the HP 200LX in this video, the next one, and then I'll look at the original 95LX in the video after that. Today's video will be a real treat because we are going to look at a hidden HP 16C compatible calculator that is built in to every HP 200LX. I'm not sure if it's built into the 100LX, I think just the 200LX, but I'll do a little bit more research to make sure. So without further ado, let's turn on our HP 200LX. And you can see that we are already in the program manager in the uh, program manager application. That's what I was about to say. And you can see hex calc here on the right. Let me go ahead and zoom in on the icon there and see if you can see that it has a little HP 16C in the icon. This is a programmer's calculator that ironically enough I don't think is programmable but is HP 16C compatible and built into the 200LX. You won't have this by default in the program manager when you boot up your 200LX. You have to add that icon by um, going to F2 in the program manager, that's add. I'm going to go to F3 for edit as my cat um, agrees right here. And we'll go ahead and once my cat gets her tail out of the way, we'll take a look at that entry that I added to the program manager. You can see I named this hex calc the application exm file that's program manager compatible is in uh, d colon slash uh, bin slash hex calc dot uh, exm. I set alt, uh, alt plus f2 to be the shortcut for it. I call this an HP 16C emulator which is not completely correct and use that little HP 16C icon that you can see there in the corner as the icon. Okay, so we'll go ahead and say OK there. And now we're back in the um, program manager, app application manager. Let's see. Go ahead and um, go to the left here. Yeah, it might actually be called the um, application manager. Let's see. I go to menu uh, and help. Yes, it's application manager. Uh, pardon me. Okay, so it's application manager compliant. Uh, sorry for using the wrong vocabulary. And with that little bit of introduction, let's go ahead and open up this secret hidden programmer's calculator. I could have just done Alt plus F2. And there you have it. Right now we are in hex mode. Uh, hopefully you all can see that okay. On the bottom we have options for uh, different bases in the uh, left four uh, buttons. Then we have options for different bitwise logical operations and then and then uh, stack operations on the right. Let's take a look at the menu. We have hex, hexadecimal, decimal, octal, and binary bases available, uh, different logical operations and or exclusive or or not, arithmetic operations, and I think there's bit shifts also that we can do which will be kind of uh, interesting. You can guess why I want to talk about this given uh, all those uh, Kenback and Digital videos that I've been doing, especially Kenback videos. 
Um, oh, let's go to stack. Uh, we've got drop, dump, swap, roll, over, and clear. And then quit there. I'm not going to quit this. It's a four level stack. I can put in something like A, uh, BB, uh, CC, and FF. And go ahead and do something. Some RPN operation. This is a RPN programmer's uh, calculator that's HP uh, 16C compatible. You can see when I um, press plus it adds the bottom two numbers on the stack. I can press plus again. You can see those added together and then plus again and our final result is 290 there. Okay. I'll go ahead and um, clear this by pressing uh, backspace that clears our stack. Uh, we can do some interesting things here. Let's take, let's uh, change our base to uh, decimal here. Uh, okay, so F2 makes it uh, decimal. And let's just see some quick uh, conversions. Oops, let me clear the stack again. It looks like drop is, uh, the shortcut for that is backspace. Okay, so 255. Let's see what happens when I press F1. You can see 255 is FF in hexadecimal. Uh, it is 377, or 377, I should say, in octal. And in binary, it's eight ones because that's the largest video or largest value you can fit in one byte or in one cat. It's one cat unit, cat integer uh, unit. Okay, and let's see what else we can do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and switch back to uh, decimal. Um, continue to get my uh, cat out of the way here. She loves to be in these videos. Let's add in uh, 128 here, uh, 64, and 32. And let's just show some sw some stack operations. We can swap those bottom two. We can roll of these different uh, three values there. Uh, let's go ahead and um, see what else we can do. Okay, let's look at some other um, operations. Let's try a uh, bit shift operation. Let's shift left. Yes, yeah, so 62 uh, shifted left, or multiplying by two is uh, 64. Let's do a right shift. You can imagine this is one of my favorite operations to do. That takes us back to 32. Let's try changing to binary and then adding these numbers together. Isn't that really, really cool? Now let's change to uh, hexadecimal. 1DF is our total there. We're 479. 737 or three ones, zero, and five ones there. Okay, so that's that's pretty fun. You have you know a nice little programmer's calculator. You can imagine that this would be helpful for stuff like I do on the uh, Kenback. Anyway, a preview of your super secret uh, programmer's calculator on the HP 200LX. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe as always.